Welcome everyone to the third Thursday meetup of the West Orlando WordPress meetup group. I'm Rob Watson, a co-organizer and host. West Orlando WordPress is an official WordPress meetup group affiliated with the WordPress Orlando and WordCamp US meetup groups. Have you ever been curious about how to set up an online course? Here's your opportunity to explore the world of online learning with this introduction to one of the most popular learning platforms, Learn-LMS. Discover its power to create engaging courses effortless, effortlessly. Learn about its key features and how they can help you create, manage, and deliver online courses tailored to your audience's needs. You'll also gain insight into LearnDash's robust reporting capabilities, allowing you to monitor student progress and course success effortlessly. Through compelling case studies, we'll showcase real-world examples of LearnDash in action illustrating how individuals and organizations leverage its power to transform their online learning initiatives. In this enlightening session, Laura Vaquero will equip you with the knowledge and inspiration to harness the full potential of online learning and elevate your initiatives to new heights. Laura Vaquero is a senior developer at Kanuka Digital, a platinum certified Woo expert partner agency and a LearnDash certified expert. With a professional career spanning over 15 years, she has specialized in WordPress since 2010. Working across a diverse range of clients and industries, Laura has a wealth, wealth of experience in delivering enterprise-level WordPress solutions. Originally hailing from Spain, she has made her home in the UK for the past 17 years. Beyond her professional endeavors, she is a devoted mother to two children and enjoys spending her free time outdoors. At this point, I'd like to invite everyone to mute their microphones for the presentation. Laura, thank you for being our presenter this evening. The time is now yours. Thank you. Welcome to introduction to Lendas <laughs> LMS. <laughs> uh, one second, this does move. Yes, I'm Laura Vaquero. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm from Spain, I live in England. Uh, I have been working with uh, WordPress since 2010 and with Lendas since uh, 2016. I'm currently a senior developer at Kanuka Digital. Kanuka Digital is a web agency specializing in WordPress. We design, develop e-commerce stores, learning sites, and portfolio uh, websites. We are certified by WooCommerce and Lendas, as Brian said. <clears throat> in this talk, I'm, I'm, going to talk um, I'm going to give you a short explanation of what is Lendas, why is a good choice for learning the for a learning site and its uh, key features and benefits? Then I'm going to explain to you uh, to you two real life uh, case studies, and to finish I'm going to show you learn dance and how to use it to manage a, learn, a learning site. To do this, I will use the websites from the two case studies. Then uh, you will be able to ask me any questions that uh, you might have at the end. So what is Lendas? <clears throat> it is a, a popular learning management system plugin for WordPress. It is used to create and manage online courses. It provides a wide range um, of um, features like assessments, quiz, and certificates. Also, if integrated with an e-commerce plugin, it gives you the ability to sell those courses. It is highly customizable and integrates with other plugins and themes well. This allows you to easily tailor the learning experience to uh, your specific business needs. So why to choose LearnDance for a learning site? It is easy to use with his intuitive interface, especially its drag and drop course builder. It comes with uh, powerful features out of the box, like the ability to build complex quizzes with progress tracking tools. It allows you flexibility when it comes to adding content to your courses and it uses WordPress block editor, so you might be familiar with it already. <clears throat> it is easy to customize and see. It integrates seamlessly with many themes and plugins. It is possible to sell courses individually offer subscriptions or create membership sites just by installing e-commerce plugins like WooCommerce. It offers good customer support, uh, support and there is a large and active community of users and developers that can help you. So what are its uh, key features? It is easy to structure the content into different uh, 
uh, courses, modules, and topics. It is possible to set a starting and ending dates for courses or releasing a schedule for the content. It's uh, possible to set course uh, prerequisites, meaning, for example, that a student can't take a course until it has passed another. It offers uh, different ways to test the knowledge of the students, and this can be different for each piece of information. It gives you the ability to award and create certificates. It is possible to manage the students by grouping them and assigning uh, a group leader. It helps a lot. It uh, has tool, uh, sorry, it has tools and reports to be able to track students' progress and course uh, success. It is easy to add the ability to sell your content in different formats. For example, you might want to sell your courses with a uh, one-time purchase, or you might want to offer subscriptions or memberships. As developer, I love it is possible to extend its functionality. And sorry, and there are multiple integrations and themes already av available to work with Lenda sites. Sorry, I jumped there. <laughs> <One. laughs> <clears throat> so let's see case studies. So I'm going to present you two real life case studies to demonstrate a learned us. The first case study is Winesure. Winesure is a, a wines distributor bespoke training program. Initially, uh, delivery as traditional face to face training for the clients. They came to uh, um, they came to us to look in, uh, looking for an online alternative. The course is, uh, is aimed at their client service staff with the knowledge needed to guide customers in selecting wine and serving them with uh, confidence. The site has only one course split in many modules and topics. <clears throat> they wanted uh, the training content only, <clears throat> content only available for log, uh, log it in uh, users, as this is a perk that they give to their clients. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> they they wanted the men. <coughs> oh, sorry. They wanted to present the content in different formats. In some cases, needing Facebook blogs to add it and look more dynamic. It has a fixed learning path, meaning that all students access the content in the same order going forward. However, it is possible to revisit past lessons. <coughs> They wanted to add a bit of sporadic content <clears throat> by giving the students random facts relating to the content in between topics. We build this by customizing Lerndas course navigation and therefore extending its, its functionality. Excuse me one second. <clears throat> Have something in my throat. <clears throat> anyway, so <clears throat> they also needed uh, to group and manage the student by company as they were only giving access to their clients. And they also wanted to remove um, users um, after the client leaves. <clears throat> to achieve this, we extend the WordPress user roles and we build them a bespoke dashboard to manage the students and track their progress. So you all of this uh, in a minute on the demo. <clears throat> so my second case study is USA, um, GS US Academy. Yuasa is a battery manufacturing company. Their online academy is the first battery training program to partner with the Institute of Motor Industry, and it provides technical training and accreditation, an official accreditation at the end. There are 22 courses available in five languages. The courses are aimed to garage and technicians. So as you can see, it's completely different to the previous case study. The content is mostly video format and is split in modules. Um, the site enrolls students in different courses depending on the, of the, their, um, their job role. However, some courses are mandatory in order to access others. So it's different ways to, to learn inside the website. They also need uh, to group and manage their students uh, by company as the clients will manage their own students. Again, to achieve this, we need to, to add new 
purpose user roles and we build them at bespoke dashboard to manage companies, teams, and students. To track student progress, they requested as a bespoke report uh, that we build extending learning math functionality. Okay, so uh, this is Google WordPress dashboard. And as you can see, and just straight away, these panels here are from Lendas. To give you, I was talking about the reporting functionalities. It gives you an, an overview of what is going on, how many students you have, what they have been doing lately, how many courses. This, by the way, is a Winesur okay, um, website. This is Winesur, how it looks like. It has um, eight modules inside the, the course, and you can go to any of them. And then this is the topics. As, as you can see, it structures the content of the website until you get to the actual content of the course. And with navigation, in this case, it's highly customized by, by us because the way it navigates is what I was talking about when I said it had a fixed learning path. But coming back again to the back end, we can see apart from the reports here, what is going on, we have a new item on the menu, Lendas, LMS. The first one is the setup, a general one. And instead of way, you can just go to courses. And here you can create your courses, edit your courses, manage them. Same way that you can do with a page. So if we edit, for example, the course, this is the, the course page. It will be the introduction to the course when you see it on the on the front end. In this case, it doesn't have it, so we can I cannot show you. But if you go, dashboard is general for other plugins to add meta boxes here and information. Go here is general about the page. Already at some, something interesting like associated content is the content that is associated with this course. But if we go to the builder, it's when the fun starts. Here we have all the modules for this course. And if we click here on span, we will see all the topics of them. And we can add new ones, we can edit them, we can move them, change the order. I believe we lost the audio and the video. Oh. There we go. We lost you just for a second there. If you want to go oh. back to kind of just start ignoring where you were at this page, that'd be great. Okay. <laughs> All right. so, sorry about that. It's, uh, yeah, my internet sometimes dips down. I don't know. Anyway, I was talking about the builder um, tab for uh, for courses. And once you are here on this page, let me let me close it again. The first thing that you can see with a mark with a M on the green circle is the is the modules of the course, all the modules that comp uh, compound the uh, course. You can move them, change the order. It's, it's an easy way to to change the the learning path of this course in this case. So if we open, if we click one of them to open we'll see in red the topics. Because remember, in this case, it's a structure like course, module, topics. It's like having a book and then you have the chapters and, and then you have subchapters inside, <laughs> something like that, to make it easy for, for students to, to go through the information. And I was saying that um, you have the topics and at the end of this module, you have a quiz, actually. Uh, a little exam that the students have to pass in order to progress to the next one. And you can add this quiz at the end of a module, at the end of a topic, at the end of the course. In this case, uh, um, for one sure, it is at the end of each module and at the end of the course. So if, um, if I see you, uh, show you as well, the settings for the for the course. These different ways to access the course. 
because it can be open for free for everyone. And you you might need to buy it, a recurring, might be closed and be a private course. So there's different options here that you can select. You can also select the prerequisites. If we had more courses, you can um, change that and say, you cannot do this course until you have done the other one. Also, you can set points for the courses. Um, and as I was saying before as well, you can set starting dates and end dates, limit of students. It's loads of uh, options here to, to tailor the, what you want to do with with the end your learning website and also one one that is also quite useful is uh, you can assign a certificate once the user have completely the uh, completely the course they can get a certificate and, and something that proves that they have gone through that so that's more or less yep yeah, uh, also I was saying about different uh, learning paths and flexibility. In this case, it's linear, so you have to go from the model one to model two, model three, and from topic one to topic two, topic three, but it could be free form and you can jump all over the place with a navi navigation and go for a first module and then the third one and then back to the first one and jump around. So it's, it's up to you how you want to configure this. As I said, if you go back to the website, in this case, it's um, eight modules with an exam at the end, and you go through the topics, and it's just a little bit of information. These are just blocks, straight away. As uh, I'm logging, if I want to edit, this is a topic, in this case, it's module one, topic introduction to, um, sorry, module one introduction to wine, topic alcohol fermentation. So all of this website is all about wine. But we can straight away click here, edit topic. And we are editing the topic that we want. And this is just a um, WordPress uh, blocks. So yeah, we have a container in this case. And we have a paragraph, an image, all the standard blocks uh, in this topic. but can be more different ones. And if you go back, you have the whole list of topics that is just here on the menu, and it's tell you what is the course they belong to and what module and who, who created. You can draft it like normal pages, same as we have done it before in any page supposed in, in WordPress, I imagine. So I say you have courses, you have modules, you have topics, it's just a different way to call bits of a uh, content and yeah the way usually to set up a course is you set up a, the game the course first the name of the course basic settings and the easy way to set this is you just leave it like that and then create the, the, the module and the topics and go in your way work your way up from topics to the course because it's much easier to assign for example you can do everything from your drag and drop on the course that like we saw before, but it's easier to assign the settings here. This is a topic, we go from four settings, same media things, but then it's associated course and you just need to select the course and the module and release immediately if you want it. And that's it, that joins it and adds this topic to the, course uh, editor and uh, builder that we saw here. That add is in the right place and everything. So that's the basic about the content. Then we have this other part that is uh, about test questions, certificates and groups. Uh, this is the way they call uh, the quiz. And you can have as many as you wanted, with as many questions as you wanted. Again, easy to, to create the questions separated and then adding them to the to the test. If we go to the questions, for example, it tells you the, the type of question, where is assigned. Can we create one? The title is just for the administrator, uh, same here, and that's actually the question. And we scroll down 
And it's different options that you can have here. Let's add a new one, I think. And this question, yes. question. And then answers. You can have different options here. That's what I was trying to. So you, you, you put um, the answer. Um, what is um, sorry? Some settings. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you selected the final test, for example. I go back and the answers. If it's correct, it can allow you to have HTML if you want it. So you can add media as well, any extra information that you want. And then you can give it points uh, on different options in, uh, in terms of how it evaluates. If we go back to the course, to the test, let's leave that one. We are editing now a, a quiz. And we have again the builder with all the questions. And we can order them, but on the settings, there's this, this fun settings, like the passing score. So to pass this, uh, this quiz, the student has to um, get at least 50% right. Otherwise, it fails. Uh, you can also uh, add a certificate for this quiz. Uh, a word at the end, um, limit the time, so more things. But there's also uh, quite interesting ones about, um, let me find you, yeah. Uh, the controls of how it looks like, the quiz. You can have it that it starts straight away, or you can have a button that says start quiz, or it starts uh, completely, out of the, it shows you the, all the questions straight away. It can give you one question at a time, or it can give you all of them. It can give you the questions in a specific order or in a random order. It can give you, you can select here. Okay, like here. I have 12 questions, but only display six. Randomly pick from, from the pool of 12 questions. And it's this kind of things that makes the the quiz much more interesting and complex so it gives a quite a nice uh, feeling for that for testing the, the knowledge of the of the users again uh, at the end of the quiz you can show the results to the students say you got this many questions wrong but uh, you can see the questions that are wrong so you fail these questions or you can also show uh, uh, so the student the right question and the why and the right answer for that question. So all of these things it helps you depends of what you want to uh, give your students depends of uh, for what is the kind of course. For example, if you're going to give a certificate or something, or it's just it's just for them to learn. So there is loads of settings and configurations here that makes learn that's quite powerful for the for the quiz. So after that, uh, I'm going to show you as well certificates, for example. You can create them, and it's reasonably easy. You upload an image and then overlay HTML on top of that. So you can add the name of the student, who is awarding this, and what date, the name of the course. You can add all that information. For the for the certificate and then see it. I'm going to show you the certificate actually from the the bespoke uh, dashboard that we built for them. So I was talking before about them. They have different users here, and it shows you how many uh, modules have completed. It shows you the progress, for example. 
If you click there, you can see the progress. This uh, student has passed everything. If I click here, I can see the certificate and they can save it it's with the name of the student, with the course, what date it passes, and it keeps frozen there for them once they have passed the, um, the course. And you can see on the progress how many questions they have failed, how many tests they have passed, how many times they have to try to get it right. I'll, I'll be back to, to this dashboard, but coming back to, to the back end. We have the certificates there and we just assign it. Um, again, you have the groups. If you want to group in the, the students, you have also challenge exams, assignments that you can create, notifications and reports. This is something quite interesting. So you can export the users' uh, course data or export the, the users. And all of this is information. In terms of the reports, actually, from the dashboard, you can export them as well. You can filter them by courses, by modules, by starting dates. And once, once you have filtered them and you can see them, it's a way to download them. But I think because, yeah. You click here, it downloads the information for you as a CSV file. And basically, this is Lendas on the back end. So in this example, for example, uh, I was showing you in terms of the dashboard that we build for them, extending the functionality of Lendas, all these functions, because when you click here, you can edit the account, change passwords, in, you, you have action different things. In this case, for example, the red ones are the inactive users because this uh, customer was uh, very keen of after uh, a client left or a, sta a member of the staff left, they don't have uh, access to the um, to the course anymore. So it's a way to, to time them and, and find them and eventually delete them. Well, um, I was talking about we are grouping students here by companies. We will the ability to, this is a custom taxonomy for, for, for the courses. <laughs> so you can have different companies and this is for venues and restaurants. So they have the restaurants and the restaurants linked to the company and the people, uh, the staff, the students linked to the venues. So you actually can know here how many people, for example, work on the voting. And if they leave, uh, if it's no longer the client, you can remove them and then stop giving them access. So that that concludes a little bit showing uh, the demo for one show. But before leaving, I wanted to show you as well. You ask, because one show it was only one course. If, if I show you again, it's one course, different modules, straightforward with a final test. But for example, US <clears throat> Academy was 22 uh, courses. So much more information here. They just divide them in modules, but they added the, the extra uh, difficulty of uh, five languages. So they are all translated. The quizzes are translated, the questions are translated, everything on this on this website is translated. And uh, we did this with uh, the multilingual plugin. So we can see one of the courses, and this is more kind of the one sure is highly customized on the theme. But for example, Yuasa has their own custom theme, but the look of we are in Yuasa is more uh, the standard look from Lendas. So this is, for example, this is a course. It's all video content. Sorry, it's because it's my local. It doesn't display the video, but otherwise you will see someone explaining about batteries and how electricity works. <laughs> so um, once you go down the, the introduction that you, we saw before about the, the course, then you have the different modules and the test. And this is the standard uh, way to display this from for Plandas with the green 
the green ticks on the site and everything. And also with the navigation, we were talking about a free, free going up and down in the modules. In this case, you can do it, but you can still navigate to the next module or to the previous one and see how, how it works. If I try, I told you there was some prerequisites and uh, these are mandatory courses. If I don't have them, they shouldn't let me do some of these other courses. As I said, course status not started, so haven't even started this. And it has support materials that is, and sometimes I'm an administrator, I don't have to, there's a, a button that said enroll into the course because users need to enroll into the courses. Again, let me see if I can show you. Using WordPress uh, users. You want to edit the profile. This is on the backend. And I show you how many courses is enrolled. The user is automatically enrolled to all the courses in this case, and it, go, it can go through all of them. But I could remove that enrollment. If I can show you in one sure. This is the kind of screen that you will get. User enrolling courses. And these are the courses that he can enroll and is not enrolled yet. And you just select them and move them. For example, if I go the other way around, now he's not enrolling anything. I say, well, I want him to enroll on one sure, so I move it there. And it still gives me all the information about the progress of this user. Can also delete the data, but the worst news that is permanent. So once you delete it, it's, it's deleted. And it's quite useful to fix things sometimes because you can just remove one, one quiz that is blocking something. Again, going back to, to this one. So if you see with this different way to navigate, but if we see now uh, the dashboard, it looks quite similar, but you will see the, the information in another way. It has all the progress details. It has all the courses that that person is enrolled to, and how is he doing, if he's moving up across or just not doing anything, last time it loads. And again, you can uh, do some actions with it, like see the enroll courses. And also in this case, they have, uh, I'm not going to click because I delete the data, so it's not going to have any data, but it had the ability to download a report similar to this table, but, and, but it's a combination with all the information that learned has had. And it's specifically the information they want in how many courses, when they finish, when they start taking it, how long they were working with the with a course before they, they move to the next one or they finish. So quite, quite a lot of useful information here. And this one, for example, again, has different companies that they manage. You could create a, a different one, filter them. Um, had teams and you could invite uh, members because part of uh, this was to do have a, a bespoke registration. So when someone someone register themselves for data protection and give you the the right to use the data, so students had to register to do in this website and <clears throat> the internet details and they use uh, a code in this case for identifying the, the team that work as um, a password in this case. All of this I'm explaining now is a bespoke functionality built on top of, uh, of uh, Lendas, but that help to build this uh, kind of uh, learning sites and, and expand the, what they could do. But as I uh, explained at the beginning, Lendas just alone without anything of this is quite powerful and it gives you quite a lot of options. And I think more or less this uh, finished my demonstration uh, at the moment, so I'm going to stop sharing. <laughs>
Thank, Thank you. you so much. This has been a fascinating look into how this all works. I've never <laughs> actually done this myself, so I've I've got a lot of curiosity on this. Thank you for your time. Yeah, I hope uh, you have loads of questions after. <laughs> yes. Thank you.